All right, brothers, sisters, what's going on? It's Brother Wizzle. All right, I saw a video on YouTube where this uh, Saxon kid had put like 24 CDs together and he got a reading of like 220 volts and he wrapped, um, he had magnetic copper wrapped around the CDs. All right, and many people say they didn't work because they were using regular copper. You got to use magnetic copper. So I got like 35 gauge magnetic copper. All right, I ordered it on Amazon. 35 gauge of magnetic copper is like a shitload of copper. Um, so what I did was I wrapped it around the um, CDs here. I wrapped it around the CDs. And I got the, what's that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I got, I got 13 on that one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I got different, I got them different wrapped, wrapped differently. He had like 40, 45 wrappings on each one, but I wasn't just about to spend the time to do 45 wrappings. But. This is what I'm getting from my multimeter. Hey, what's going on there? This is what I'm getting from my multimeter on those four CDs. All right, fluctuating 80, 81, 82 DC volts. All right, that's what I'm getting from it, which means, and it's under the sun. I got it under the sun, which means it's producing energy. All right, so I got an 80, yep, so you see that? So this is from the four um, CDs, and these are gamer CDs, these are some gamer CDs. Now these CDs, these newer CDs are made with um, aluminum. They have an aluminum coating on it, and then they have a, a clear plastic um, coating on top of the aluminum, all right? so. Even though um, it has a clear plastic coating, the aluminum and the copper, the magnetic copper is literally making a connection between the two. All right, so I'm not staying further away from it because my energy is drawing it. Let me see if I zoom in on this here. So I can zoom in. Let me see what we got here. Uh, see, I'm not staying away from it because it seems like my body is drawing energy from it. So I'm getting like 98, 99 DC volts from this right here. So this does produce energy. Only thing about it is finding a way to convert that energy. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the next area because what I have here is I have four CDs and I got them wrapped directly in aluminum. All right, let's see what happens when they are wrapped directly in aluminum, okay? Okay, so this is, um the I got it hooked up to the I got this hooked up with the um alligator clips both of them with alligator clips on it all right and let's see what we're getting right here with the aluminum directly on the CD we're getting about a reading of 80 because I don't want to get too close to it because my body's gonna draw energy from it so we get a close to about reading about 83 84 DC volts all right this over here when I step further away from it it had a reading of 104 DC volts just from four CDs and it was charged up by the Sun okay now this has got a reading of 80 and see if I can step away from it a little bit more because like I say our bodies draw energy from these projects so we have to step kind of far away so we got about 90 91, 92, so we get about the same readings on both sides, and this is the aluminum directly um, on the CD, and the, the magnetic copper con connected directly to the aluminum. As you can see, um, as you can see, the copper wiring is connected together with each other right here. You got copper wiring here, you got a copper wiring right here, and I got a couple of wiring here. I'm making sure that they're, they're not touching each other, all right, because it can give an, a lower reading if they touch each other, all right? And you make sure when you put it through these holes right here, you got these holes right here, you make sure you don't double wrap them through the holes. You just have, have them going singly through the holes, okay? And, and 
I got that idea off the YouTube channel when to put the holes there so that it can go, you know, so it can have a placement or whatever. But this is um, what we're getting right here. So this is actually creating energy. All right. So let's see if we can zoom in here one more time. 90, 91, 92, 86. So it's fluctuating a little bit. So the energy is moving. All right, showing you the energy is fluctuating a little bit. Um, and this is the sun, and this is under the sun as well. Okay. All right, now what I want to do is I want to take the sun away. All right, I want to take the sun away. I'm going to put this right here. Now let's see what we get. Even with the sun taken away, we're still getting 84. So it's basically the reaction between the copper and the aluminum so i wonder what would happen if we had copper and silver or copper and zinc all right silver will be one higher a higher one if we had copper and platinum or copper and uh titanium because the the heavier the metal is the more power the more power it gives off we know that copper has a high has a lot of power that it gives off as well all right so this is what this is given off. This is, this is the direct aluminum. All right. So let's see here the next one. Okay. Now this one here. We take away the sunlight. We're getting a very much lower reading. 50, 55 DC volts. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off right here. Put the sun back on. And let's see where we go. That's about 53. Wonder what happened that it went down. Hmm. It's all trial and error. Let's see. Let's bring this right here. Okay. So I got this. So the ground is pulling energy from it. All right. So I had it closer. I had the the um, the alligator teeth too close to the ground. And the ground was literally pulling energy from it. So, what we have 86. So, we got about the same reading with both of them. All right. So, 80 to 90, 85, 86 to 90 DC volts that is given off. Okay. So, uh, okay, let me zoom this in right here. So, it's important that we understand that energy is everywhere and we can create energy from anything. All right, you have um, silver, you have silver and copper, aluminum, copper, aluminum, also silver, aluminum gives off positive energy. Silver gives off a higher positive energy than aluminum. All right, zinc and aluminum are almost the same within, within their uh, charges. But one gives a positive charge, one gives a negative charge. If we had gold, I think gold would have gave a much higher number than what the copper gives because gold is like the shit all right so gold would have given a much higher number but we got copper copper is another form of gold all right so we ended up with um some pretty good readings on this um on this experiment here so i think we um i think we can we did pretty good all you got to do is get yourself some magnetic copper yeah baby. Let's go in here one more time. 89, 90. Step away from it. Look, you get 102 DC folks. Because the further we step away from it, because our body draw energy from it. You get 102, 101, 102 DC volts coming from this. This is beautiful. And this is just the CDs right here. The four CDs. All right. So you get 100, 102 DC volts coming directly from four CDs. All right, next thing I want to do, I want to keep this together, but next thing I want to do is I want to put some, uh, connect some electronics to it and see what happens. All right.